and it will taste strong rap feel. So yeah, this is too uh so yeah, this particular reaction you is too fit as probably yeah, been out for quite some time. I can't remember when this first came out, but of course, yeah, this uh oh uh, so yeah today I'm reacted to a Boris react to the season seven premiere of MLP. And obviously since I just not too long ago reacted to episode twenty one of season seven, I'm definitely a bit late to the party here released for this particular reaction. But I think the thing was cause yeah, usually these um like you no know, Boris reacts videos are usually pretty long, especially this one just like like almost past almost like five, five minutes after you know the one hour mark so at the end of course yeah it is pretty late where i'm at i think um it's about a quarter of one where i'm at i'm definitely really tired the most so and you know it's because you know the length and all that where i wasn't would encouraged to write it right away but of course yeah since um about a week or two ago at this point they also did a uh, party try to uh the uh, episode 10 of season 7, so yeah, I'll definitely, uh, make sure to re react to that, uh, pretty soon. So yeah, I thought, you know, might as well just, uh, you know, do this, uh, as soon as possible, because, yeah, obviously with what I'm about to, oh, well, we'll be doing, uh, pretty soon, so yeah, might as well get to this, so, uh, and of course, I did double check, and yeah, it looks like, um, they will be reacting to episode 1 of, uh, season 7, and I was too sure, you know, they're gonna also react to, um, episode 2, because, I guess, yeah, that technique was, um, show, like, you know, that was the premiere, like, the same day as episode 1. And, of course, yeah, obviously, with, um, season breaking the norm of not doing, like, a two-parter for the premiere, uh, you know, all that. So, I was still curious if they were, would also react to episode 2, but, no, it looks like it's just episode 1 today, but I guess, um... Looks like they got plenty to talk about in this uh, particular episode. Ozzy, Ozzy for um, obvious reasons, because, you know, certain things that happen, but, yeah, it looks like they got quite a bit to talk for this uh, particular episode, so, yeah. So yeah, that's about all I'll say for now. So without further ado, let's get started. But first, oh, that one, that. <clears throat> all right, so let's react to points. React to season seven, the season seven premiere here. In three, two, one, play. Okay, we're somebody's hallway here. Turn now, but what? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're saying dancer. And Del won't wait to start this. <laughs> it is like it just kind of waiting while he's filming this, I guess. Oh, it's got a nice place with all this stuff there. <laughs> I'm really curious how he takes that to do too in that. <laughs> Also, this is quite a bit of, like a remix to the LP theme. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm boy. mean. I'm green, and I'm a dancing machine. Yeah, you are. But, but none of those are relevant right now because I'm recording for Bernie's React. <laughs> yeah. But n no, the mean, uh, the mean uh, one I, that might be relevant because I'm not usually the nicest to these episodes. So. Uh, uh, hey, everyone. Hey, Don't right. have anything funny planned for those intros, so let's oh. just jump right in. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, geez. oh, hey. Oh, hey. My name is BDP. It's Welcome been a while, to the React it? Bronies. We, we watch My Little Pony uh, equestrian thingies. Yeah, I think. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Partner. <laughs> oh, hey, he's got a switch. What? Is, is there a new episode out? Now yes. Let's get this oh, yes. All these right. guys. Season 7 of these guys. My Little Pony premiere. Oh, I'm really curious. I know that oh, hey, everyone's been waiting with bated breath for my opinion. I kind of went from, like, some pompous old British lady to droopy dog. Yeah, you sound like droopy dog. Here we go again. Hey, Will well, season seven prove to be a better season than season six? Or are we on the same slope we were going last year? Yes, it was okay. Oh, hey, Ellie. Mm, back again. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been waiting a long time for this. And it's finally here, the second season of Rick and Morty. We With, didn't think um, it was going to happen. So my well, new this resolution was season. to give Starlight Glimmer a chance. Gee, yeah, Starlight's been pretty good so far I've this really season. been looking forward to this. Kind of had mixed feelings about uh, the, the previous seasons. But now mm. that they're finally making a movie, I can't wait to see the power Oh yeah, An open what? slate. Yeah, it's pretty movie. I'll definitely I'll probably see it on Tuesday. No pudding. But that's only because Kelly Sheridan's cool. Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Brown, otherwise known as Black Griffin, spelled with a zero. I have terrible hair, and this is Brony's React. <laughs> it's been to weird. Season seven, episode one of My Little Pony, Equestria Girls. Wait, um, I am completely okay. hey, for this. What? Oh, oh, oh yeah! <laughs> no, 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 no! That was the last Brony's React. Well, yeah, I like how Again. Oh, <laughs> no, I that outfit. I feel like I want to play guitar. Well, he's got a guitar there. Dang it! 
Uh, that works? Ah, better. Much better. <sighs> this guy's a nice place. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I like the rape on that silly camera. Ooh, yeah, no reason to react. I like the title. Yeah, season seven coming out. Alright, how are they gonna start this off? I guess it's. Yeah, it's ah, Hey, Spike, oh. what's up? The ceiling. Hi, Starlin, I just wanna. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. They say first impressions are everything, and from what I'm seeing, the first thing I see in this episode is Welcome to the Main Six Isn't Here. This is the Starlight Glimmer Show. Now, <laughs> yeah. have fun. Oh, I still can't believe my friends and I are getting medals of honor. I expected her to say married for some reason. <laughs> We've all been <laughs> waiting for it. I mean, have you seen the shipping art? Medals of honor? Wait, what? <laughs> As a military member, I am triggered by this. No, <laughs> you cannot receive a medal of honor, damn it. Fun fact, the highest award that a civilian in the United States can receive is the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Hmm. Well, yeah, the more you know. <laughs> what is that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Wasn't that the, the more you know theme? No. no. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me try it again. We got... That's still AOL! <laughs> or that's Microsoft. Medals of Honor. Are you kidding? You totally deserve it. Spike, Twilight said to Shush, you can't do anything right. What is not <laughs> You total- Oh my gosh, darling. Are you serious? I mean, girlfriend, come on, okay. please. Well, I got At this guy for me. <laughs> saved Equestria from Queen Chrysalis with the help of Trixie and Thorax. And Larry and Mark <laughs> and Harpo. Oh, hi, Mark. And Curly and Cur Curly Jefferson. <laughs> It's okay, Spike. I also forgot what happened in the finale. Let's do this podcast style. Hey, oh. we're recording. Didn't really think... So it's basically every Bronies react for well, me. Yeah. I point the camera, I hit record, and I send Ray's two hours of footage, two minutes of which is actually usable. One Jesus minute, Christ, it does have two hours? 20 seconds of which is decent. Five seconds of which is funny. According to me. Uh, yeah, I know what happened. I was kind of there. Quiet, yeah. Starlight. He's not talking to you. He's refreshing our memory for the new season. It's oh, yeah. almost like you said that exclusively to inform the people who didn't see the last episode. Yeah. That's cheeky. Is, like, Twilight going through her porn stash in the back? <laughs> What's going on? Her fanfiction comes out on Fim Fiction next week. You don't have to be looking for it. Yeah. Jeez, that's there. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Nothing, my dude. It's like Spike's calling the sex hotline. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are you wearing? <laughs> uh, nothing? Because they're always wearing nothing. Well, okay, sometimes it works. works on a sex phone line, Spike. It doesn't oh, it work face-to-face with face <laughs> someone. Especially when they're quite clearly naked. <laughs> Is it funny <laughs> oh, how, like, yeah, when the horses wear nice. clothes, it actually makes them look more naked? If you think about it? Because, like, okay, like, if you just see a regular horse, it's like, okay, yeah, there's Twilight back there. Oh, whatever. But if she's just wearing, you add Twilight in socks, and it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Please say nothing. Not sure. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like Rarity always says. There's no such thing as overdressed, darling. Apparently, there's also no such thing as underdressed because they're always nude. Yeah. There is such a thing as overimitation because I think this we've had that same joke several different times now. Oh, and now oh. we have Spike. Oh. Twilight did it. What? Razor Dash did well, it. I didn't read all and that. And I wouldn't be surprised if Pinkie Pie did it at some point. Yeah. Baby's done? The best oh. looking pony in the room. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Spike is doing an impression of Rarity. Fantastic. That must have been really fun in the booth. I bet. Looking real good, Spike. Looking real good. <laughs> yeah. You know, Spike, if, you're, uh, if your Spike things go limp like that, I think there's a pill for that. <laughs> also, that's normally not what our Rarity says. It usually has to do with alcohol. Yeah, that's true. Jesus. What are you looking at? No, don't look! Your ass! <laughs> Your ass. <laughs> no, 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 don't, 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 don't look, don't. What was over there? I, uh, see, I he, he's got a crush on her, just like me, just like... Uh, uh. <laughs> what are you looking at? Get over here! <laughs> oh, jeez. Bye! Because there was a spider there, but it's uh, gone now. You are a wuss. <laughs> but to be fair, I'm saying that as an Australian where spiders are kind they're of... They, they, they're just roommates. She had no idea. Yeah. I'm sure Spike. Yes. 
she had no idea yes. that you were acting weird. Because you always act weird. Yes, yeah, it's her time. Team, Sparkle. Sparkle? <laughs> How dare you call me by my last name? Sparkle? Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? I am your superior officer. <laughs> okay, for some <laughs> reason, I'm just hearing Ashi saying that when Samurai Jack got his sword back. The Sparkle? I, I, I don't know. That just Whoop. popped into my head hearing that voice. Oh, love you, Tara. I'm trying to think of, like, the other pronouns. What's up, Jack? What's up, Pi? What's up, Itty? Oh. <laughs> Sparkle, it's Princess Twilight Spike. Come on, you should know this by now. Now off to the dungeon with you. You know the rules. <laughs> She's a game. They're good friends. Shut up! Yeah, you're the dogs, man. I want this present to say, I'm so proud of you, both as a mentor and a friend. And a potential love interest oh. that we can't make canon because of the rating of this show. Equestria well, the guy kind of doing the star of Jersey is over here. Equestria is safer thanks to you? That's a bit of an understatement considering there wouldn't be an Equestria had she not helped save it. Uh, oh, yeah. get her a card, because I don't think the mirror will say all that. Yeah, Spike, I like getting cards too. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mom. Well, it definitely doesn't say, uh, um, oh, it's a mirror. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't Sorry. think you're a narcissist Sorry. at all. Oh no, shit, that no. guy's so um, much. Kind of like oh, Trixie. The first thing she'll see when she wakes up is herself surrounded by all her friends. First oh yeah, thing she wakes I saw the picture of Alicia and I'm like, surrounded by all her friends. <laughs> oh, that's actually quite a sweet present. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. What's up with all the like weeaboo anime eyes? Like, <laughs> look at look at Twilight down here. That's. It's not the same style as the show. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> like some right stuff. there for reference. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, I guess. To have a different style, yeah. but it's just kind of like, were you guys tripping out on cocaine that day? Or, uh, <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. Just did look a bit weird. It's all weather friends. Oh. Uh. The episode that got me into the show. Apparently, oh, Twilight cool. is vain enough to Photoshop everybody's blemishes out of their photos, or in this oh, case, yeah. their outlines. Yeah. Discord and Celestia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ship it! Yes, me too! <laughs> oh, I get it. She's gonna get her a mirror, and then when she's asleep, she's gonna tattoo that sentence on her forehead so that when she wakes up in the morning and looks in the mirror, she uh, sees it. Of course, that'd be a bit much there, Gabe. But I'm sure she'll appreciate it. I'm sure yeah. she'll love it, honestly. I, mean, I, I love it when I do that to me. It's frustrating to have to put makeup on my forehead all the time, but it's big enough. I mean, well, yeah, it's, you can put a whole dictionary on this forehead. <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's big, but like me, last forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go, Piggy. <laughs> is her party planning built by the hour or second? Pinkie Pie Black has gotten, ways. like, so used to throwing parties now that she just does it in a click of a finger. Yeah. I mean, well, click of hooves. You know yeah. what? Using in-universe logic, I think Pinkie Pie would legitimately be the best ruler for Equestria, exclusively because her fourth wall-breaking abilities could just get shit done. Yeah, seriously. Am I wrong for thinking yeah, that? Yeah, seriously. I wonder if she's also, like, in charge of, like, the funerals. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. My little pony. My, my little, little pony. pony. Oh. Let's just skip the intro, because we all know they're not changing anything, except, like, adding a few characters at the end. Uh, yeah. My little pony. Wait, is someone going to change it up a bit, or what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. I never even prepared for the long run. Nice game. I love it playing that bear. That wasn't even that hard. Well, I've gotten, I've gotten, hard I'm, I don't want to be too good at that because. Cause I don't need those lungs. Yeah. Just give the donate my lungs to somebody else. <laughs> oh yeah, they changed. Yeah, they changed the logo. Hmm. New logo. I yeah. think they used this on some toys for a while, but it's nice to see in the show. Yeah. See that over there? My little purple. Friendship <laughs> is purple. You'd think purple. I would be sick of this opening by now, <laughs> and you would be right. <laughs> Yeah, seven what? seasons, they finally changed the shit up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the Italian opening? Uh, <laughs> version? Yeah, There's a walrus in my pants. Wow, you sang beautifully. <laughs> Thank you. Black <laughs> Griffin could learn something. <laughs> yeah, I'd build armor. 
Starlight, Trixie, Thorax, R2 D2, Luke Skywalker, <laughs> Han Solo, and not Chewbacca. Wait, 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 wait. Nice. Why is Cadence not up there? She's just mm -hmm. like sitting over to the side here, just standing with shiny. Oh, arm. yeah, why was she with our prisons? That something. guy sucks. And Discord. Starlight, Trixie, Thorax, and Discord. That the <laughs> bonds of friendship, no matter how unlikely. Oh, it's the confetti ponies from season six finale. Oh, yep. look at all the changelings. They're all so <laughs> colorful and cute. <laughs> I know one of the lads, though, reacting is going to be like, eh, I don't like the look of the <laughs> yeah, changelings. Probably. Ah, it's the bad <laughs> unicorn OC wing butt. <laughs> but That's I kind of like them. I think yeah, they're, they're cool. pretty, pretty good. I don't think I can ever get used to the new changeling design. They look even worse alongside ponies. Hmm. Marmite. It's very Marmite. Do you think the changelings actually like their new designs? That they're really? like, oh... Uh, yeah, like, I mean, especially I you know, like Thor's brother was, dude, wasn't too good of a change. thing with sharp teeth and claws and shit like that. Now I look like I freaking digivolved into that thing from Princess Mononoke. With the, you know what I'm talking about? The deer oh, yeah. thing and the yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Like, if I was one of these changelings and then they were like, Starlight's boyfriend's in the audience. Ooh. Oh. Yo. This is what we're dealing with now, because, you know, we got love in our hearts. We don't got to eat it from other people. It's just, uh, I, ain't, I ain't digging it, dude. No matter how <laughs> unlikely. I don't want to sound sexist or anything, but I am kind of excited to see some females wrote this episode. Mm -hmm. I feel like some of the best writing has come from the female writers well, for Larson the show. Well, Larson a good Like episodes. Amy Keenan Rogers or M.A. Larson. But, but yeah, <laughs> nice. But... They didn't stop Queen Chrysalis. They just delayed Oh, oh yeah, let's always see what happens in the finale. We still this place glue our bums together. <laughs> Go Discord! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mom, quiet! <laughs> a really bad costume. Everybody can tell it's you, Celestia. <laughs> Proud and honored to give them the equestrian pink hearts of courage. Is that like a purple heart? Proud and what? honored Kinda? to give them... Hasbro merchandise! Yay! So you make the logo purple and the title screen purple and even the pillow purple, but the purple heart you turn into the pink heart. Yeah. And give it to a male Draconicus. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that. Oh, That's yeah. a stupid name. They could have called them the, the Equestrian Fuchsia Hearts of Kicking Flank. <laughs> nice. That would be cool. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wait. Now I see why animated James stopped doing those. <laughs> yeah. Um. So oh. oh. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> what did you just do? <laughs> <that to? laughs> She's. I think you hit it that hard with crap. He's crazy. Did, did your cranium fucking do that? <laughs> well, that's pretty hard to do that. Ew. <laughs> Something about Discord's head popping off. Yeah, that's what it made me feel on. off, too. I don't know. Some, some phobia got triggered there, man. <laughs> that's really unsettling. I bet you thought I was going to make a head joke here. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Only Discord. So yeah. I guess if Discord goes evil again, decapitating him just won't work. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm curious to see about this. I hate how easily this is gonna turn into a sex joke. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm getting comedy back. I'm really trying to hold off saying what I'm thinking, but I'm pretty sure one of the rest of the cast got this. All right. Probably. So one of y'all, please say it. If none of y'all do, I'll be severely disappointed. Again, with the horns and the sweat and the tight fit. Uh, RD, you take over. Oh, Luna can't seem to get it to fit, huh? <laughs> Nickel for every time. Christ, of course he does. What? Can't be making those kind of well. Okay, you could totally make those jokes. Why? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of dirty. I mean, won't fit in the hole. What? That was a sex joke, right? <laughs> no, I was talking about when you get the blocks and you got the circle block and you're trying to get it in the circle <laughs> hole. Nice rainbow. It doesn't oh. fit, and you're like, fuck. And it turns out it's a square. You gotta put the square in the square hole. <laughs> Luna's really trying to force it in him, through him, on him. <laughs> Excuse me. Luna yeah, trying to put on that necklace reminds me of those two horseshoe puzzle things. Oh, yeah. Each, there's only a specific way to take it apart. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that. Uh, all right. There it is. Yay! Oh. What are they watching? So you, you <laughs> zoom the camera in just right on Luna's face but with the same, like, dialogue that's going on. Yeah. It, Looks completely dirty and it's actually <laughs> wonderful. Oh god! Next episode on Pinkie Pie narrates something that's happening off screen: a birth. 
Oh, oh gosh. Now try and take that metal off. Oh yeah. Uh, you gotta saw off your horns to get it off now. <laughs> you know, Luna, you could have saved him all the embarrassment and just like poofed it on him. Okay, yeah. how did that work? Is it a rubber band? We are so Maybe. proud of you all. Yay! Ooh, all. The audience now, are they proud of the audience? We're just proud of everyone. Good <laughs> job, everybody. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh man, geez. I just I just love beats, dude. God, stop oh, my right, on, personality man. trait. Still not voiced, Hasbro. I mean, just get on the horn with no whacking. It's not that hard. Vinyl, because fan service is just in the show now. And also, is that Andy Price? Oh, oh my god, it is Andy Price. Oh, yeah. That's, that's one of the uh, comic writers. That's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. Sweetie Belle's cool. dancing with Spike. Wasn't that a ship back in, like, season one? Why in the heck is Scootaloo standing on the dessert hey, table talking at Rainbow Dash? Because everybody knows that chicken is an entree. <laughs> Why is Scootaloo standing on the table? Get off the table, <laughs> yeah. young filly. Goodness gracious, have I taught you nothing. It was the great and powerful Trixie's pleasure to save you from your imminent doom. Well, you know, Trixie, it uh, kept me from having to watch another one of your shows. Oh. I would rather not be saved by Trixie just so she doesn't brag to my face about it. I, I you know, like Trixie. After all this time, <clears throat> I realize I still hate Trixie. Oh. Not, no, bad character. Did it all by yourself. <laughs> Hold up there, Starlight. Hmm? Just a minute. I don't think Celestia would be too happy with you muscling in on her Draconicus. Oh, oh yeah? It was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the voice of that change. It was amazing. It was amazing. That's pretty good. You yuck, they talk. <laughs> well, yeah. Apparently our voices don't change even though our entire physique has totally turned into a vanilla peach ice cream cone unicorn. We, yeah, and we have to talk different so we're not like the ponies. So like all of us are just gonna sound like this. Like all the That's pretty that weird. Here. Hold on, time out. Mm. I don't think I've once seen a single toy about the new changeling design. Have they put that in production or what? I don't think no so. No one's ever stood up to Chrysalis like that. Uh, uh, oh, oh, fuck me, right? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I you kind of forgot throat about throat that. My throat after having thick Barbara. This pony's horn has a horn. That's a what? double unicorn. Oh, yeah. All the way across. I just did <laughs> what any pony would have done. I put the elements of harmony in my butt. It's a wonderful <laughs> feeling, isn't it? Watching your student shine the way you always knew they could. And... Isn't it a wonderful feeling? Shame I haven't felt that. Oh! oh! <laughs> my cheeks are sore. <laughs> the I don't think I've ever smiled this much in my life. I can only imagine what that feels like. Really? Wink at her. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Celestia winked because she also knows what it's like to have her cheeks sore. Her oh. butt cheeks. Oh! Remember where you came from, you lowly scum. That <laughs> reminds me of the Who's line I did just the other day hmm? because I had to hold an expression where I was smiling the whole time and it actually hurt. Oh, so geez. I kind of have to laugh at this part <laughs> because Twilight here is voiced by Tara Strong. And Tara Strong is currently voicing Ashi in the new season of Samurai Jack. So mm. if you switch the voices around, it's pretty funny. Yeah. My cheeks are sore. Hold it. <laughs> uh, I'm going right. to give you a quick anatomy lesson. So here's the thing. When we say our cheeks hurt, hurt from smiling so much, that's yeah. because they get pushed back. These are where your cheeks are. Your mouth pushes them back. But when yeah. you see one of the horses do it, it's different because their mouth... The, like their mouth goes up into like up here. This yep. is not where their cheeks are. Their cheeks are over here under their eyes. So therefore, that term works well with humans. Does not work well with 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 ponies. Busted. All right, more you know. Yes. Oh, oh that's yeah. <laughs> very tentacly. Oh, Her oh, disc me falls squarely on your haunches. That's a disease, right? Haunches? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, what you get when you eat too many uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> I've planned enough <laughs> friendship lessons to cover the next three years. I have enough friendship lessons to keep this series going until 2020. Twilight Jesus. is like, well prepared. Same way Boy. Celestia set you on a path that eventually made you a princess. <laughs> and then you became everyone's least favorite character when you fell in love with two different guys. <laughs> and a girl. <laughs> she just won a medal for Equestria's sake. When, when did they stop using Celestia's name in vain? 
Honestly, oh, well, being well, in the military, that, it doesn't take later. a lot to win a medal. I got a medal for sitting on a boat for a year. So, oh, how's nice. the whole ruling a kingdom thing going? I beheaded three traitors already. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, Absolutely terrible. Okay. Millions have died of starvation. <laughs> there are constant uprisings they were? with rebellions all over the place. I wasn't ready for this. I didn't ask to be in charge. And I realized that a monarchy is the worst form of government right now. But yet you guys kind of imposed this on me. So I guess it's good as it can be. Yeah. The wings are kind of like a ladybug. Overwhelming. Yeah. But we're adjusting. Hold it. So, remember, oh, okay, remember last episode, right? Where where Thorax <laughs> turned into a magical fucked up rainbow deer thing? <laughs> cool. Okay, so, if you remember that episode, you remember that he stopped talking and turned all of his interactions into, like, nods and shakes or whatever. Because yeah. they didn't want him talking anymore. Well, they just... They, they, they made him speak here and he just has a normal voice. So... That's stupid. And why did you make him not talk at the end of the uh, yeah, the like, end of last season's we, episode? Can I make some sense make if he talk did change his voice with his up normal a voice bit? this time? I, know, I still like it. The voice is still does so now. You can't have friendship without makeovers. Whoa! What? 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 You can't have friendship without makeouts? <laughs> Obviously not. Did you see what Hadro did to you? I actually well, kind he... of dig the voices for the. I don't know what we call them anymore. Changes? Yeah, uh, not, not exactly. <laughs> Rarity. <laughs> Rarity's like, oh, yeah. yes, I like you, you freaky bug thing. You know, this confuses me because um, me and Tyler, Snowflake, um, are very, very good friends, but uh, never once have we painted each other's toes. What you talking about? I give all my friends makeovers. Next is AC Race Best. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm He'll bring it. and I want to hear. I, I don't know what that crack is. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Okay. <laughs> I love how much of an ass discourse beat right now. Yeah, I'm the only one here who wanted Discord to break out into Humpty Dance. <laughs> Excuse me. Wait, what? Wow. He's got a human wow. nose. Wow. Who knows where that came from? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so cute. You are the weirdest looking character. You, <laughs> ah, your eyes are staring into my soul. <laughs> back, back every pony. I have a unicorn. I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah. I was just about to reveal her grand master plan for you. It's like Discord wants them to kiss. Look how yeah, close they are to each other. Yeah. Yes, I'd say we were both fairly interested. Stop being a jerk! Now you have a plan, obviously. I'm gonna put liquid paper on a bee. And then it will die. Jesus. Good plan, good plan, best yeah, plan. Good plan. From the Very way you're plan. sweating, you definitely do have a plan. You too, Discord. What's her problem? Discord's clearly a better character than- Oh, that's her problem! Oh, She oh. knows it. I appreciate that they still don't apparently like each other publicly. Yeah. But we all know They're what happens there. behind the scenes. Trixie yeah. and Discord definitely have a love-hate relationship. <laughs> yeah. I it's wonder if Discord is offended by that, or if he's just like, ah, it's Trixie. I yeah, see but... what you're doing. And you don't have a clue. <laughs> You'll send her off and teach her things that she'll learn when she's two. She is an adult, Twilight. There's magic in her horn. Uh... But if you don't teach her the right <laughs> things, I'm curious Her where that's from. good will turn to scorn. I just made all that up. Was that oh, good? Oh, okay. The chorus. <clears throat> is Twilight I thought it was like it from a, a movie good teacher? Okay, that's Lion King. <laughs> she doesn't have a clue. Announcement to every pony about your plan. Where are the bubbles coming from? I wouldn't uh, drink that after Discord has bathed in it. Yeah. Ugh, I poured out two. Yeah. I can't wait to tell Fluttershy and the others. Discord, no! Discord, yes! <laughs> and there's Berry Punch teaching the CMC oh. the important things about college. Oh, gosh. How to do jello shots. <laughs> <laughs> Those muffins look familiar. I'm glad yeah. they're saving budget by reusing assets. That's literally the same fucking muffin they used since season one. Yeah, basically. Party, a 
again? That's a regular <clears throat> occurrence for Twilight? That's I guess. Sad. She mastered this. <laughs> ah, that must be the baiting paper. She oh, jeez. about this one. Reverse cowgirl. Style. <laughs> Princess Celestia had it all figured out for me. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> hey, something about that was so adorable, just the way she went. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, Twilight finally figured out that she should pass on her problems to Celestia, much uh, like Celestia does to Twilight. Uh, uh, Twilight has learned. So you have an overachieving student. Sounds familiar. So you have an overachieving student. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Luna. Sunset. <laughs> Shimmer. <laughs> oh, there. Oh. oh, you thought it was about you? <laughs> no, no. I like her first day of stuff, yeah. ponies would know what to do. Well, you know, just kind of fade into obscurity and stop doing stuff and let her do everything for you. I oh, mean, geez. you were me and I was Starlight. Okay, hold on. If you're you and she's her, who am I? If you were Starlight, <laughs> then I'd be Rainbow Dash, and Rainbow Dash would be Fluttershy, and Fluttershy would be uh, Applejack, and Applejack would be Rarity, and Rarity would be Mr. Cake, and Mr. Cake would be the guy Oh my god, get on with it! Get on with it! <laughs> and you were in this place, you... Oh no. You sent me to Ponyville. Oh guys, how do you write this? It's for me to send Starlight Glimmer away! Yes! Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh, Christ. I knew this season was gonna be good! <laughs> Grace! Finally. So she's not going to be a main character anymore? All right. I mean, she wasn't part of the main six to begin with. Half the fandom rejoices, the other half mourns. I think that's yeah. how divided everyone is on Starlight. The yeah. episode that I I like Starlight. to give Starlight a chance really is... Hold it. Well, okay, what? so Twilight was sent away so that she could learn friendship, which is an important thing. If you remember the first episode, that's why she was sent away. You know, yeah. Friendship is magic and she needs to save the world and such. And such. Mm -hmm. But... This isn't the same case as Starlight, though. Yeah. Starlight needs to be sent away because... Is it there? Oh, it so that she can learn friendship. She's already learned friendship. Yeah, because this that's what the whole season. previous season was about. So therefore, no, that's... She doesn't need to do that. Sorry, just just broke your... I broke your plot. <laughs> but I'll, I'll watch you anyway, because your animation is pretty. Yeah, it is. Busted. Only Busted, yeah. Make that <laughs> I like his analogies no. in this. Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you Stupid can. Princess Celestia still doesn't understand. That's why there are so many forest fires in Equestria. Yeah, especially just cast someone. Jesus. what's right, even as it hurts. Can't you see I don't want you anymore? Get out of here! Who are you going to send her? <laughs> to the moon! <laughs> Season Grace. one jokes are the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mm. Oh, Spike. Princess Celestia's had enough of your horse apples. <laughs> yeah. Send it to the human world. Equestria gals, seven. I'm sending so, her yeah. to Tartarus. Oh, great. Oh, wait, sorry. Tartarus. Tartara? Tartarus. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was really old beers. I was expecting there to be a third oh, boy for some reason. Whatever Twilight's planning for Starlight is going to be so exciting. Hmm. Wonder why she didn't tell any of us about it. Oh my gosh! What? That's totally the Family Guy theme song. All right, who did this? Was it William? Was it Stefan? Who? Who? Who did the background music in this episode? And yeah, did you realize that you were copying the theme the theme song to Family Guy? Did you realize it? <laughs> Everyone is getting incredibly close in this episode. Yeah, they Kiki are. Kiki and Rarity are touching noses. <laughs> when has Twilight not had a plan? What do they got? <laughs> Season 7? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever she freaks out, it's because she doesn't have a plan. And she freaks out all the time. Starlight's yeah. given the changelings an opportunity to revolutionize their society. Oh my god, Twilight said revolutionize. Revolution. The <laughs> her arm went up like this. Oh no! <laughs> oh shit, actually did I know, I didn't know. Cool spell. That's new. That's new. That's cool. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. you killed all of us. We are the ghosts of Christmas past! <laughs> I like it. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, the new one, where oh, suddenly yeah. Recluse Beast, who conceals himself within the castle, has a book that can magically transport him anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get that part. Thorax yeah, same, that was a bit odd. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> 
Everything, it's compromised. Uh, you stop it. Christ. You stop it. You stop it. Yeah. I want to have honeysuckle nectar for lunch. I would like a sandwich. Oh no. What should we do? Freaking classy acting. Right <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm acting. <laughs> this is great. I would like a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. The winner gets to choose. Yeah. I want that one to be in charge. <laughs> yeah. Like your spunk, kid. Kill everyone <laughs> until there's nobody left and eat all their hearts. Yeah. I'll buy stone. I'll buy stone. Oh, jeez. Hey, a Dark Crystal reference. Oh, yeah. They actually saw the movie, but I'm aware of it. I love it. I love that even though they still look like that, they've got that, like, <laughs> Pardon the pun. Hive mind. <laughs> it's good to know that our reformed homicidal hive mind is still <laughs> at least a little homicidal. Yeah. Everybody else is like, yeah, 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 great idea. I, I, I mean, I do that. And I mean, that's a yeah, perfect why, why solution attack. Duh. Or Thorax and I can talk about it and come up with a solution that works for every pony. Yes, come up with a solution that works for every pony. Freaking racist. <laughs> Freaking liberals. <laughs> Just fight, for crying out loud! How do Christ. you feel about yeah. honeysuckle and peanut butter sandwiches? Why, that sounds delicious! I think that sounds fucking disgusting. disgusting! Why, that sounds disgusting! <laughs> Compromise! <laughs> I'm a little curious how that would taste. You know what? That reminds me. What? What? Oh, is it? Look at this pan. Sandwich? Oh, do you actually make it? <laughs> well, what if you're allergic to honeysuckle, huh? Oh, oh yeah. What if honeysuckle uh. gives you the hives and you can't eat it? Huh? It's like going out for pizza and everyone's like, why don't we get half pineapple and half pepperoni and then a little bit of the pineapple gets on the pepperoni and you didn't realize it because you just ate all the pepperoni and now you got an allergic reaction you're freaking spaz now, huh? How do you uh, feel about that? I'm guessing that actually happened. My ass. Yeah, okay, see what happens when you try diplomacy? You turn into a weird freaking bug thing. This is your body. This is your body on diplomacy. Any questions? Compromise. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> uh, 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 Stop it! <laughs> uh, this is Twilight's fantasy spike. There is no wrong way to fantasize. Uh, yeah! <laughs> it's kind of guess though. This is Twilight's fantasy? <laughs> yes! Where am I? <laughs> I don't yeah. see myself. This is uh, Twilight's episode uh, spike. Yeah, I'm not so surprised you Shut the hell up. I'm suddenly <laughs> depressed. There's Aww. no wrong way to fetishize. I mean, fantasize. <laughs> yeah, stress, measure, bail, though. Whoa! Uh, Spike, this is like Twilight's <laughs> fantasy. If you don't like it, get out. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, no wrong way to fantasize. Uh, what? Oh, Christ! <laughs> don't ever touch me again. Especially like uh, that. Stop! Stop! God damn it, just play the fucking thing! Starlight Glimmer <laughs> is a most apt and perspicacious pony. I think it means she's very sweaty. She needs to put on more deodorant. <laughs> she's perspiracious. <laughs> Definitely a Twilight <laughs> fantasy. It would only take Wait, one oh changeling to keep you from the pack. Way to be racist, Twilight, just assuming one's going to be bad. Oh, oh, oh no! Here we go! Oh, oh, oh. Can't just have an easy answer! We gotta talk some more. Yeah, I suppose it's I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I wish I had see-through wings. Yeah. Not invisible ones like these stupid things. <laughs> I always get in the way and no one believes I have them. I'm so glad I'm a pony. Are you like bugs or what? She just said what all of us have been wondering. Yeah, kinda. Oh, you're acting next part. Never mind, I Twilight. Uh, Starlight's racist. Wait a Ooh. minute, but that's a changeling. Ooh. But this is Twilight's fantasy. Yeah. So, she's still racist. Never mind, I don't take yeah. it back. Twilight, you're mm. racist. <laughs> damn! Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. Oh my god! They're actually dead. They are really <laughs> yeah, dead. Oh. oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, oh, I... Damn it. <laughs> Say what's her reaction. And then she got died. I can't just send her died. off to Celestia knows where without thinking it through. Oh. Hmm. I was not aware that I was an expression. She's becoming self-aware. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Twilight. You fucked up a thousand years of inside jokes. <laughs> sure you didn't, Celestia. Sure you didn't. I yeah. guess Celestia never had heard that before. Being God and all. 
I, see, okay, yeah. that's something I actually like that they. I like when deities or other things just realize, oh yeah, I've been around. I'm like this omnipowered thing, but oh, I didn't realize I'm an expression. Oh, mother of me, am I right? Or something like that. <laughs> Hold it. No. Oh. Celestia okay. knows where. Okay, so that phrase is obviously taken from God knows where. The idea is that like when you say God knows where, you just that you've lost something is like oh i've lost my keys they are god knows where the idea is that you don't know where they are but god does because god knows everything in this case you've transferred it to to a ponyism saying celestia knows where and the joke is that celestia is saying oh i didn't know that 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 was a phrase and but you are right i don't know where when you say celestia knows where that implies that celestia does know where Therefore, if Celestia doesn't know where, and she's saying it like, oh, I don't know where, then you've screwed up, you screwed, you, you did it, you're busted! Yeah, but... you, you, you incorrectly, that's bad phrasing. You sc- I'm curious incorrect. how many takes to do that word. even I don't know the answer. For even I am useless in this plot line. We think, oh. we think, we think! It's reminding me of think, think, think. From Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> we can send Starlight to the Dragonlands! Come on, freaking send her to the Griffins, man! We don't get enough love! I don't <laughs> yeah. really trust her in the land of knives, so I'm gonna trust her in the land of WMDs. Probably <laughs> well, because we don't love very many things, and we take a lot, we're very greedy, we take money, and we kind of suck. Why'd you make us suck? <laughs> By the way, for those who don't know, I was Black Griffin long before the show came along and ruined Griffins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Starlight! Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we get to see best character from last season. Boy. Is that like supposed to be like the beginning of Predator or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you son, son of a, son a bitch. bitch. Oh, I like that, bro. Get the voices in there, bro. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I love that moment. <laughs> Twilight's <laughs> fantasies are so like yeah. stereotyping. Amber! Starlight! We're dragons! Amber! You ready to do some death-defying dragon stuff? Ha ha, tubular! Tubular! I love it! I love it! This is fun! Yeah, Chaw, was... That's like totally tubular, dude! <laughs> They've turned into shining armor. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're at it, play basketball with redneck accents or something. God. Everything yeah. about that was wrong. And Kelly Sheridan had way too much fun voicing this episode. That doesn't sound what? anything <laughs> like Ember or Starlight. Who knows what their dynamic would be, Spike? Shut up, Spike. Don't you judge my fanfiction. Spike's like, <laughs> dragons don't act like that. And she's like, who knows how dragons act? He's like, no, I know how dragons act. <laughs> and that's not how dragons act. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Powerful. Unicorn yeah. OP has broke his nerve. <laughs> okay, Loki, I kind of would want to show on that. It'd be like extreme dinosaurs fused with dragon tails. That'd be oh, such a yeah. dope combination. I would actually yeah, watch that, be, like the spinoff. <gasps> freaky. Not everyone yeah. can relate, but if you've ever tried virtual reality, you know just how freaky that is. Oh, yeah. Fire, the Dragon Bowl, Quachella. Really, really hoping they get Mertalica. <sighs> so which convention is going to be the first one to call their concert Clawchilla? Clawchilla oh. is like Coachella, except uh, more weed and less music. <laughs> uh, nice. This year's Dragon Bowl, uh, Detroit Manticores versus the Baltimore Ravens. I got Detroit 10 to 1. I could be there for a really long time. Whoa, that's a big dragon! Stop. Oh, yeah. Light Star. This is like trying to oh. recite names in front of non-bronies. <laughs> Light Star. Beautiful, Vincent. Even when you're not trying to sing, you sing. Sunset <laughs> Shimmer? Twilight Sparkle? Star Light Star. Faggot. Faggot. Hey, let's not fault him at that. I fuck up his name all the time. What Her was name. his name again? Oh. Wait a minute. Uh -uh. Starlight, I mean Twilight, is also imagining the dragons being this way. So she's also racist against yeah, dragons. Yeah, like Twilight's a racist. And Spike all right. is like right there. So in this episode, we're learning that Twilight is actually really racist. <laughs> what are we driving into? Well, Cold Slaw, obviously. That's <laughs> what they do at Clutchella. Lava! What? 
and then she died. This is another good thing for her. <laughs> I know this, this scene cut away before we could see it, but she just literally watched Starlight die. That's got to be a little bit traumatizing. Uh, yeah, is that how the season starts? Like, images of her falling into pools of lava? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a good start. I like it. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Who would ever want that to happen to Starlight Glimmer? <laughs> I wanted to see her die! Terrible. Aww. It, like, took me a second to process, the, like, j it, like my brain to realize that, <laughs> oh my god, Starlight just jumped into a volcano. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, crap, we're about to die. What do I do? Falling into lava for a minute. There's no escape for me now. Oh, yeah. Discord's hugging me. I'll just teleport away because this is an inconvenience. She could just stop mm. herself from falling into a pit of lava. Thank you. What if she didn't realize it was happening? Like me? <laughs> yeah. I could send her to the Crystal Empire to continue her magical studies with Sunburst. Magical studies. Oh, yeah. My yeah. Sombra <laughs> is... Wait a minute. I Whoa. think the Crystal Empire is one of the least safe places. If anything Whoa. happens to that Crystal Heart, Every pony dies. Yeah, basically. Placing your horn directly on the potion and picture the clock you wish to make. Did you hear that? Picture yeah. the what? What did he say? And picture the clock you wish to make. Oh, clock. Oh, oh they smelt something. <laughs> Aren't we? Oh, clock. <laughs> yeah, I really. Yeah, not to the other like thing. Three times, and I still I cannot unhear him <laughs> saying cock. A demon. <laughs> <laughs> Flurry heart clock. Three, two, two one. one. I never would have thought to combine Star Swirl's apparition spell with Spatium Flexibus. Okay, we're all waiting for the part where it's Pinificus Inserticus. I <laughs> ship them so much. Just kiss already. Especially when they start attempting the other stuff that <laughs> guys and girls often do together. Yeah. Algebra. Man. We all know that these horses are gonna. What would happen if you <laughs> this Tempus Objectus? But don't forget to honorific abilitude Natatibus, otherwise you'll Numino Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis yourself! <laughs> oh, <laughs> you would think Unicorn Research with so much risk involved, like destroying like the entire world and all that, you would think there'd be a bit of oversight and like a controlled environment for those kind of experiments, not just someone's house. <laughs> yeah. If we do it just right, it should allow us to materialize an object that was lost in the past. Oh shit, man, they're gonna bring back elephant trunk jeans. What oh, the hell geez. are elephant trunk jeans? Yes, Wicca! Oh. I knew it! Oh my gosh! They actually did that! Yeah. This is a scarily good representation of how my appetite is when I'm at conventions. Starlight Sunburst, <laughs> Smart Cookie, Star Swirl the Bearded. Canon. Mm. Ordinarily, I would say that that was a really cool scene. But there's what? just one big, one big problem with it. It's a little misleading that this episode was advertised with that scene of her being sucked into the black hole like Whoa. thing. And then that wasn't even really a major part of the episode. That was kind of yeah. deceptive, Discovery Family. That, don't do that. Uh, the I entire, really saw the like, work. premise of the, of the advertisement for this episode was something that didn't even actually happen. And that's... That's cheap. That is yeah, very cheap. Ah, oh, yeah. no! <laughs> I like that. That's kind of that's funny. That, that he says Starlight No as Twilight does because he's in her head. He's a figment of her oh, imagination. Oh, yeah. Inception. It didn't happen, but it could. And it will. At oh. this point, isn't Celestia aware that Twilight is just not fit to run a damn kingdom? Oh, well, come on! on! I just don't think I can send her anywhere. What am oh, I gonna gosh. do? You have six other friends! <laughs> <laughs> Celestia just became best pony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Slashy, you troll. That, that, that definitely made me laugh. That definitely made me laugh. Yeah, that's it. Food a samurai! You're having a panic attack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. Jesus Christ. So weird to hear <clears throat> Celestia laughing so much. <laughs> Well, I don't, her laugh like that. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> what? I'm a princess. Oh. Are you a princess too? <laughs> okay. Yes! Thank you, 
Celestia. Thank you. Are you laughing at me? This is the best season premiere ever. Oh, <laughs> Twilight, I'm laughing at you, not with you. Yes, I'm laughing at you, Twilight, because you're so dumb. Season seven's gonna be a good one, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's Wait, pretty good you're laughing one. at me. Every grown man back in 2010 and 2011 when they told their friends that, oh man, this My Little Pony show actually is kind of dope. Yeah, I'm laughing at you <laughs> yeah. because you're incredibly racist. <laughs> you laughing at me? Oh, Let geez. me tell you a story. Well, Sit down like a puppy. That's really cute. Yeah, well, I was telling a story. Everyone, sit down and shut up. Yes. Now, yeah, I was like, this Boy. is a story all about oh, how, how I turned your turned life upside, upside down. down. I like we'll ever see MLP parody that. Once upon a oh, time, oh hey, he's got a girl who was raised by dragons, and, but she wanted to actually fight witches, so she had to go to an academy to learn how to fight witches. Yeah, it's too far fetched. Oh, oh. She was yes. truly That's how the friends of the book. She raises the sun. She rules an entire kingdom. And she teaches elementary school. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Princess Celestia is an actual goddess. Hmm. <laughs> well. Is that correct? Is, is this from Apollo or something? No. What? <laughs> wait, wait, no, shut. Shut up, shut up. I'm Wait, sorry. Wh what? Wh what? Sun plus lollipop plus rainbow Wait. equals two. Wait, what? <laughs> I may be an engineer, but even I didn't know that. If the sun <laughs> represents Celestia and the lollipop represents Pinkie Pie, the rainbow represents Rainbow Dash, that would have to equal three. Unless Celestia and Pinkie Pie are the same character. Oh, shit. Are you talking about Twilight? No! <laughs> I can't see what you're thinking about. But Twilight just did a spell where Spike. Oh yeah, why didn't everything. Celestia do the same thing? And Celestia's not doing that right now. Why? Can't yeah. Celestia do like stuff that's like infinitely better than what Twilight can do? Yeah. So why isn't she doing that to show Spike right now? Is she just really just not that powerful, and we just don't know? <laughs> Miss Twilight, <laughs> what would I get? If I uh, added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood. I noticed that I, her pursuit of accuracy was preventing I'm not sure. her from reaching her full potential. Feed me, Seymour! Full potential. <laughs> Do you not see the giant magically generated flower? Lyra's standing <laughs> on the table, standing like a human. <laughs> was keeping her isolated and alone? Yes, Spike. She was a total loser. Oh, <laughs> she's an introvert. That's the problem. You either have yeah. friends or you're smart. Oh. I guess I'm a genius. <laughs> 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 He's not very social. I must send her away. Hey, uh, Twilight, do you like mm, bananas? I think Celestia <laughs> literally turned the moon around to make that shot look good. Because it's not usually turned that way. Oh, yeah. I knew there was a special group of fillies in Ponyville. Special like they're really cool, or special as in they would lick the volleyball in gym class? <laughs> oh, no. She knew they were special because they were always followed around by television cameras. This is a really <laughs> Celestia-heavy episode, which, granted by the title, I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh, yeah. But it's kind of refreshing. Okay, look, yeah, I sure actually good. really want to see this episode where, like... The, just the prequels before Twilight showed up, because when Twilight oh, showed yeah, up, I was, was just like, cool. okay, uh, I'm a grown filly and I'm trying to deal with it. I really wanted to see how everyone met each other before yeah, Twilight got Yeah, that would be cool to get, like, episode you know, like that. Like how Pinky and Applejack and Fluttershy mm -hmm. and all these guys, like, all these people from different cliques just became really good friends with each other, I guess, through Pinky. Like, that to me would be a good episode. So yeah, it would. take no Hasbro. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a throwback episode now. We're getting to see... Twilight Sparkle, back in the day, pre-season yeah. one, what a cute little pony. What if she runs into a manticore? Oh god. Or what if she gets pulled into Tartarus? Or worst of all, what if she doesn't get along with any pony? Maybe Rainbow Dash is gay. What if the other <laughs> ponies don't like her? Especially that Fluttershy, she'll bully her! Are we supposed to say something? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I love God, that little part. so funny. <laughs> Is she talking to herself? Uh, yeah, she does that all the time. Just get used to it. No, guards are always supposed to stand there idling. Hey, mindless drones, just keep standing there. I kept you in Canterlot longer than I should have. I think we always assumed Celestia had a plan for Twilight because she's thought to be this all-knowing and special character. 
but now that we see just how normal she really is, she rather comes off as a creepy control freak. Eventually, I realized all the anxiety I felt was because I had gas. I have oh. <laughs> oh, 1,000 years of back taxes to the IRS. I <laughs> yeah. want you to go. Oh, so it has to do with selfishness. Oh. You know, it's funny, like, I'm a personal trainer, so, like, when I train my clients and then they, like, go off and, like, I've given them this new, like, worldview of how to train and properly stuff like that, I'm always yeah. kind of, like, a part of me feels pride, but a part of me feels sad. I'm generally so proud that someone's able, like, I taught someone how to become a stronger, better person. So, like, I That's feel cool. what Celestia feels and what Twilight's feeling right here. Because, like, you know, training someone and letting them become stronger and seeing them just grow off and, like, get their own gaze. It's just it's yeah, beautiful. You do that. beautiful. Cool. I love this. I love this, like, little mentor to a disciple thing going yeah, on. Yeah, it was definitely very nice. You rip your heart out for anybody yeah. who has moved out on their own for the very first time. Um, oh, yeah. Remember, your parents love you. Yeah, they do. And I expect all of you to call them. Yeah. As today. Really? <laughs> no, you're a loser. I didn't want you around really? at all. I was afraid if you made friends, you wouldn't need me anymore. Oh, and that's exactly what happened. So Twilight, <laughs> don't send her away, or you're going to become oh. as obsolete as Princess. Uh, what's your face? So <laughs> also, nobody needs you anymore. Wouldn't need me in the show anymore, which. But it's kind of the truth, guys. I mean, we've never really needed you. I will always need you. I think Starlight Glimmer might feel the same way about you. Look at that. Another friendship lesson. <laughs> Yay. That is what you're afraid yeah. of. Maybe it is. Just a little. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. <laughs> this is nice, Spike. Shut up, Spike. <laughs> you're a man. Here we are Christ. after all these years, Twilight. After all these years, that kind of hits home, because it really has been all these years for those of yes. us in the fandom for multiple seasons. Mere mm. living proof that letting someone spread their wings doesn't mean you no longer have a place in their lives. Mm. Uh, actually, she doesn't have wings yet. And with that, uh, Nicole Oliver has just told the entirety of the Brony fandom that they still love us and we'll they'll be there for whenever you want to come back you can go do your S samurai jacks you can go do your steven universes your anime but they know they will be there when you want to return either that or i'm just getting overly sappy you can always make yeah. her right I, I like that you lonely lonely pony <laughs> if that's the reason that she's been writing letters, then why did she stop and Celestia just accepted her stopping doing that? Dear well, Princess Twilight, being on the road with Trixie can be a struggle. <laughs> Sometimes the cart gets stuck in the mud, and she has me wear this degrading magician's assistant's outfit. <laughs> Spike was just quite tickled with that one. <laughs> I may yeah. have let it slip that you'd be unveiling your big plan for Starlight tonight. Hey, he's con vlogging. Discord has <laughs> just been like an ass this episode. Yes, yes we get it. You're an asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Jeez, Discord, he really likes to stir. You weren't coming up with a plan just now, were you? Every panelist at BronyCon ever. No! You idiot! <laughs> she was making a really long and boring episode with Princess <laughs> Celestia, who we almost forgot about. Until today, when we remembered why we almost forgot about her. <laughs> Christ. If I could have every pony's attention... And the other characters in the room that aren't ponies! <laughs> and I hoped she'd be my pupil for a long time yet to come. But it turns out that's just not meant to be. <gasps> oh, Shock so audience gasp. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, gasp. It's like they the got... Wilhelm scream of collective gasping. Oh, oh yeah. in this shot, both Katie Cook and Andy Price are in the shot. See if oh. you can find them. Kind, yeah, I, I loyal, saw. strong, honest, brave, strong, and true. Stupid, oppressive, Hitler-esque, <laughs> dictator. Three cheers for Starlight Glimmer on her- Leaving the show! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Graduation day. <laughs> Yay. Hip, hip, away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't three cheers. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting this. Neither were we, but believe me, we are not upset. How do you want to celebrate? <laughs> Girls' trip to Las Pegasus? Trixie, that movie doesn't come out for a few more months. The Rax gets, like, lost on the roof and, like, 
Fucking Trixie finds a baby and stuff. It'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> we can throw you a Changeling Gore Fest. Gore Fest? Changeling Gore Fest? <laughs> gore Fest? <laughs> it's not like a fetish thing, is it? Either <laughs> one sounds interesting. Yeah. One more than the other. I'm hoping yeah. he's going to explain this in the next few seconds. Yeah, otherwise, like... I'm going to make up what a gourd fest is, and it's probably not going to be the same thing. Uh, it's more fun than it sounds. Yeah, I'm going to make up something. Uh, they throw <laughs> gourds at each other. You <laughs> thought I was going to go sexual, but I didn't. Christ. It's what they do with the gourds after that's sexual. I do appreciate yeah. that Thorax's awkwardness hasn't changed, despite his transformation from Beast to yeah, that's really nice. Prince Adam. Dude, I really yeah. like Thorax, even though he looks... I know a trick that'll turn okay. Celestia's castle into cheese. Do you think it's a Gouda idea? <laughs> that's just the first of many cheese jokes if we go down this path. Oh! <laughs> I hate you. Oh, please go down that path. I need cheese jokes in my life. And this is why you're provolone all the time, Discord. Ah, oh, stop. Uh, Don't encourage them. Cheese Lestia. Huh. This is why nobody wants to bury you. Stop. stop. I'm funny. I think they were stringing that joke along just a toasted long time. Still, yeah, said, um, I'm a bit peckish. Oh, um, I wonder if I've got some uh, camen, camen bear around here somewhere. I um, encourage them. <laughs> That's right. I've just eaten it. Congratulations. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. What the fuck, Twilight? Believe me, <laughs> I've thought long and hard about this. Believe me, I spent a whole entire five minutes thinking about this. <laughs> yeah. Ready? I'm not ready to leave. Oh, good, because I'm not ready for that either. What? You're gonna make me get all invested in a character I'm only just starting to like, and then throw it all back in our faces and say everything prior is for nothing? What was the point of this episode? Twilight is an enabler. She, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you off to go do your thing. And then when she's like, I don't think I'm ready. You're not. I have a feeling <laughs> that a lot of the fandom was ready for her to leave. I wasn't oh, yeah. actually ready to advance the storyline. <laughs> Are you serious? This whole episode setting up goodbyes, spinkle spankle, and mm -hmm. we're keeping her? Way to yes. get my hopes up and dash them against the rocks like the waves mm -hmm. in the Pacific. The plot oh. of the episode was Twilight figuring out where Starlight should go. The resolution is Starlight's not going anywhere. Oh my god, this whole episode was pointless. Okay, now, now just put yourself in Starlight's position right here, okay? Like, your teacher, your home and board as well, pretty much say, Okay, you graduate, so, you know, skedaddle. All right, but I mean, how would you feel in that situation? Like, uh, that, uh, I actually kind of like it here, you know. There's yeah, I would place too. Right down the street, uh, you know, uh, Pinkie Pie's parties are awesome. Fluttershy's right there. We can talk. Rainbow Dash and me can go exercising. Applejack <laughs> got those great apple pies. Rarity hooks me up with dresses, and she's freaking baller. And it's just, <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to leave. Like, I can understand yeah. that. Like, I like that explanation. Yes, it's, it's tough, man. It was going yeah, to be a congrats on getting a Medal of Honor present. She got a Medal of Honor? Oh, you kidding me? I thought it was a pink heart. <laughs> a, a purple heart and a Medal of Honor are not the same thing, by the way. Can't they yeah, they are not. Yeah. Is the equestrian pink heart out of courage or is a Medal of Honor? I honestly don't know at this point. I don't honestly, think they know at this, this point. This continuity is starting to bother me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, seriously, all they could have done is just, like, opened up the closet where they keep Nicole Oliver and said, hey... We had you say the wrong thing, can you re-record this? And she'll be like, sure, can I have food? But then I was afraid it was a going away present, but now it's I couldn't be happier to stay present. That was my Photoshop too. That's a cute picture of her and Trixie. Oh, yeah. that's some great fan art. Where's a picture of Thorax? Where's a picture of Discord? Oh, yeah. yeah. Twilight? Maybe we're able to get them. perfectly over your dresser. I know, I measured. You were in my room with my permission? I made what's next to me. But whatever it is, <laughs> I mean, I'll there. always be there for you. Now let's touch horns gingerly. Unless she writes you off the show Twilight and it becomes mm -hmm. Starlight's, you know, as the main character. Oh, yes, which, he's... I don't know, guys. It's kind of something I've been noticing, so it's possible yeah. that they might be phasing Twilight out of the show. Just yeah, saying. eventually. <laughs> What the hell is this thing? <laughs> oh my god, it's like a Henry Hoover with a face. Oh, well, what's oh, that? Yeah. Oh! Merchandise! <laughs> Alright, how much will that toy cost, huh? <laughs> I don't know. He looks like 
a little bit. I didn't watch Teletubbies. I did. <laughs> that right there is a Mr. Bucket. I've seen these before. This is actually yeah. like a little game you would play as a kid. With well, yeah. a bucket with wheels going around sucking up balls. Oh yeah, I think I remember that. I had a really fun childhood. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I thought they were gonna have like explosions. This bugs. is gonna sound yeah. weird because I'm pretty sure that managed to be the least epic season premiere I've Ooh, ever yeah. seen. It wasn't like you for MLP. Right? But I'm not saying that in the sense of it being bad, just yeah. different. Well, yeah. And thus starts season seven. The season of feels. I feel oh, yeah. it coming. It obviously oh, yeah, it's kind of oh. set up the season seven. Um, it was fun to see some of the characters through like the thought process, but uh, it's definitely different than what we've seen in the past as far yeah, as definitely. season premieres go. So mm -hmm. yeah, that worked in See what season seven has in store. That was the conflict resolution. Yeah. Just complete, completely ignoring the problem. Yep. <laughs> so the whole episode was completely worthless. Pretty much. Mm. GG Hasbro. Yeah. GG. Eh, I still liked it. There. I did it. I went through a whole Starlight Glimmer episode without making a single Starlight Hitler reference. Oh, God. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. Uh, this, I think it, once you mention it, it does kind of count. Uh, all right. I think I'll keep going here because it might be something. Yeah, there we go. I was still playing Switch. You're still here? Oh, yeah. No way. The video is over. What game are you playing? Oh, I was kind of curious to say what game are you play. <laughs> Alright. So, that was Brony's back to the LPC server premiere. And yeah, that was that was pretty good. I definitely like what they had to say and all that. So yeah, very nice. Um, so yeah, it'd be kind of hard you know, to go through like all the things that I kind of did on that. But um, I did like the specific crew we got today. We're um, obviously, you know, like AC Race Best, um, Serious Spark, Paleo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gabe or you know Black Griffin, and then yeah, it's definitely nice to see you on like uh, Jack's play, Ellie Monty, uh, Dusty, and of course yeah, part the Fire Team Harmony guys, I believe that's a specific name, and then of course uh, Burn Dance Party to see him again, and um yeah, Vivi Revere or I pronounce his name, um I think I think I said Jack's play, definitely nice to see him, um uh I think that was a specific crew, so yeah, it was definitely nice to see those specific people uh for this particular um action, and of course yeah, it definitely makes sense to have like you know a big crew this time because yeah it is a premiere of the new season but i will not be surprised if it's a bit smaller for you know when i react to their um um reaction to the episode 10 of season 7 so i'm really surprised that but uh, so of course yeah definitely nice to see the specific people here uh and of course yeah i liked your specific reaction to super moments especially um uh, i liked uh like uh reverious um you know his um uh his analogies you know at least his explanations during moments in the show especially um you know like the, the cheeks one uh, you know when um when Twilight says uh, Slice knows Slice knows what in front of Slice I like his question there, um yeah like his little things there, um and of course all you know the different jokes that the uh, Fire Team Harmony guys did um <laughs> really fun to watch fun, fun to you know watch a lot I definitely like it uh, I'm definitely a big fan of those guys so it's definitely nice to see them here, um and, and uh, I definitely like their reactions to um. Um, which they said said there's no wrong way to fantasize, and uh, I definitely like, you know what they did with that, especially with uh, Jack's Blade. Uh, I I do you know follow his you know like Tumblr and all that, and you know, he does you know show that kind of stuff on his Tumblr, so I'm not too surprised you know so is that one girl from Monster Misumi, <laughs> well, like yeah he, he definitely likes that for Super Snake Girl, so <laughs> I'm not too surprised there. Um, and uh, yeah, I did like you know his expectation, like you know him having the same type of feeling. Of uh, when you know, like mentor-wise, when you know, he, he has like um like something to be a, a personal trainer to, and then you see some like move on with a new outlook on life. So yeah, I definitely just explanation there, and um, yeah, definitely was that heap. So I'd say, uh, and of course I love the moment uh when Ray Spence, you know actually hit his head on the, his table there and actually broke. So that was uh, pretty funny to see. And of course yeah, he, he's that like I can see I can see why why um uh, okay. Uh, what, uh, M or, uh, why J uh, M.A. James does do that more because, yeah, probably you would break a table or something like that, so that, that was like, pretty funny. Uh, and, of course, I loved um, the little moment where um, uh, P.O. was like, um, uh, 
Oh, oh yeah, it's like how you were in my room. <laughs> it's like the little Eddie there. I just thought you were seeing that time like Eddie and whatnot were all they do like you know um you said trigger like um uh, like sound effect or whatever and they're like it was super angry or something like that. So I leave it there and like you know it began to very and you know, he's just playing a switch. He's like what are you doing or whatever. So this uh, reaction's over. So I definitely that because I was kind of expecting this uh you know say like what game he's playing. So I'm really surprised you know, um it was like you know Zelda or Splatoon or something like that, but. Oh, so that was, that was fun to see. Um, and, uh, I guess that's just say them all, but yeah, it was definitely, uh, yeah, uh, overall, uh, good reaction. I definitely, like, you know, the Pacific crew we got today. I definitely, like, you know, their Pacific opinions, like, certain moments of the episode, and, you know, their reaction to, uh, certain, definitely certain moments of the episode and what they did with that. Uh, that was fun to see that. And, yeah, uh, so, yeah, again, definitely enjoy this reaction. Again, I'm definitely sorry this came out, uh, definitely, like, probably months, <laughs> uh, like, later, uh, when it came out. But, yeah, like I said before, I was definitely, um, not really encouraged myself to react to, uh, earlier. So, sorry about that. But, yeah, uh, with the, um, episode 10 reaction, uh, I will definitely react to that, uh, pretty soon, maybe, like, a couple weeks. But for um, next week, I'm going to react to one of the uh, analysis Broly's uh, react. So yeah, expect that reaction uh, next week. Um, but yeah, until until then, I definitely enjoy this uh, uh, Broly's react today. And yeah, definitely looking forward to when I react to the uh, episode 10 reaction in a couple weeks. So, see you until then. So, overall, send this facts feel. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to channel for more videos, and make sure to click the little bell next to that, those two reactions right away. And make sure to leave a suggestion what video I expect you next in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the latest socials and sites in the description down below. Those keep on up my reaction videos, anything else I post. So, overall, that's this video. Hope you guys very soon. Bye.